it's your girl KK here once again. It is that time for me to dupe the vibes, okay? And I love doing these videos, not because I'm necessarily trying to talk you out of buying a fire new collection or a fire new palette, but because like myself, some of us are trying to spend less on makeup, <laughs> not keep buying the same palettes and makeup over and over again. And so I like doing these videos. They're fun because I get to kind of explore and dig through my collection and really truly see if I already have the shades that are in that palette or a similar palette. So that's what we're doing today, a dupe the vibes, okay? Not necessarily meaning that I've found palettes that are exactly the same, but ones where I feel like you can create a similar look, okay, and get the same type of vibe. So, yeah, this is the palette, okay? So, Dose of Colors announced that they are coming out with this whole brand new collection to celebrate their 10th anniversary or 10 year birthday for their brand and I think that is so amazing it's so wonderful congratulations to them and when I saw the collection I immediately gravitated towards it I'm like that's pretty it's gorgeous it's sophisticated I like it it looks really really nice but it's very dupable <laughs> so yeah that's what we're here to do today as you can see it is a gorgeous beautiful collection the swatches the palette they have lipsticks coming out lip liners cute little eyelashes even some beauty sponges so it's a fire collection okay but yeah we're gonna try to dupe the vibes of the palette because you guys know that's what I zoned in on is the palette. <laughs> and so I'm gonna try and dupe it. So just looking at the swatches, looking at the small little fraction of a picture of the palette that I was able to see, I'm gonna try and go ahead and give you guys some palettes that you might already have in your collection that you know you may have forgotten about that it's like oh yeah you know it looks just like that i don't need it okay so anyways enough of me yapping let's go ahead and jump into this duping the vibes video so i did use one of the palettes in my video today to create this eye look i don't have any lashes on i just did the eye look and put on mascara so as you watch this video i want you guys to guess Try to guess which palette I use to create this eye look because I really love it. It's one of my favorite palettes that might have gave it away. But <laughs> yeah, go ahead and guess down below in the comments which palette you think I use to create this eye look. And at the end of the video, I will let you guys know and you will find out which palette I actually used. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I don't have a whole lot of palettes in my collection that I feel kind of dupe the vibes of this new 10 palette from Dose of Colors, but I definitely have enough palettes to keep me from buying it. It is an absolutely gorgeous palette from what I'm seeing in the pictures and the videos and all of that good stuff. It's a really, really exciting launch and I immediately, of course, <laughs> whenever I see something that's beautiful, I want to buy it. So this is my way of staying on my palette no buy and just really actually loving the palettes I already have in my collection. So let's go ahead and get started with this first palette that I have here on my desk. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. This was one of the first palettes that came to mind when I saw the color story from the new 10 palette. And so just looking at this palette initially, I'll go ahead and put up the side by side so we can take a look at that. But just looking at this palette initially, um, what drew me in to the fact that it's very similar is really this side of the palette because it has those beautiful earthy peachy tones. It also has a black in here, so that's a plus. It has the beautiful burnt sienna type shade along with like this pretty burgundy shimmer. Now, the differences for me with this palette and the new palette, I would say, of course, in your collections, in my collection, it might be difficult to dupe or find a palette that has all these shades along with that dark shimmery gray. Cause that dark shimmery gray really kind of sets that new 
uh, Dose of Colors palettes apart. It's really pretty. It's a different shade to throw in there, kind of that shimmery gunmetal, dark gray. It's just really gorgeous with these colors. And this palette doesn't have it, of course. And most of the palettes that I pulled today don't have it. But I do have a palette that I can kind of mimic that shade with. So I'm not really concerned about that. But the other shades, the pretty, beautiful, warm tans and taupey shades, this palette even has, you know, some of the really pretty shimmers in here. This is a gorgeous shimmer. That's a pretty shimmer. This one as well. So it's not an exact dupe, but it definitely gives me similar vibes. Now, another palette that I feel definitely gives me similar vibes is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam, okay? A palette that I absolutely love, but oftentimes forget about. So this is what this palette looks like inside. So as you can see, it's very, very similar in the color story and vibe to the new 10 palette that's coming out. Once again, this one has a black. It has beautiful, warm, burnt sienna type shades down here it has your lighter tones it even gives you like you know kind of like some taupey tones in there beautiful gold tone shimmers you know pretty rosy tone shimmers so once again same vibe it doesn't have that beautiful shimmery gray dark gray but like i said we'll go ahead and <laughs> we'll leave and fix that issue in another palette so very, very similar, very pretty. Now this next palette I have here is the Vanity Makeup Palette. This one is their signature palette, absolutely gorgeous. The quality on this palette is <laughs> just top tier, okay? It's so beautiful and I love this palette, love this color story. Now just opening up this palette, you can see here that this palette truly is duping the vibes of that new Dose of Colors 10 palette. I would say out of all the palettes that I'm going to show today, this one is the most similar. It has that black. It has that beautiful sienna tone. It has the taupey gray feel to it. It has warmth as well as coolness. I think they really did a really good job creating this color story in such a compact form. So this one also has this beautiful dark shimmery gray down here. So that's the color that I'm basically saying that it's difficult for me to find in these other palettes to dupe this new tin palette with, but this one I think definitely dupes the vibes 100%, the gorgeous shimmers, the taupey shades, the dark gray, the black, the beautiful sienna and bricky brown. It's just really, really a good dupe, duping the vibes palette for this dose of color. So yeah, this will be my number one palette at this point to dupe the vibes. If you have this already, you know, and you're trying to be on a palette no buy like I am, you might want to reconsider purchasing the dose of colors 10 even as beautiful as it is, this one is gorgeous as well. Now this next palette I have is one that I've had in my collection for a very long time. This is the Pinky Rose Center Stage Palette. Not even sure if they still sell this palette anymore, but honestly, I thought about this palette <laughs> when I saw that color story. Once again, that beautiful warm sienna vibe going on. You can see that shade here. It doesn't have a black in here and it doesn't have you know, that kind of cool tone gray feel to it, but it does have what I feel are some similar tones in the palette, even though it's not exactly the same. So if you already have this palette, you might want to pull it out, swatch it, revisit it, and just kind of, you know, say, hmm, do I really need that palette that's coming out? Because Whatever shades it are that you are really falling in love with, like if it's that dark gray shimmer, then yeah, you might say, okay, I really want that. If, I mean, I find it hard to believe that most of us don't have a black <laughs> in our collection. So that's not really a draw. But for me, I think like the beautiful neutral tones, shimmers, uh, warm siennas, this palette definitely has that vibe to a certain extent. Now, the next palette I have is this Huda Beauty Empowered palette. 
very, very pretty palette, interesting <laughs> packaging. But when I opened up this palette and took a look at it, I was like, wow, that palette does have a lot of similar shades. Definitely has the same type of vibe. Once again, has the black, has the beautiful sienna brown shade down here. Has some other gorgeous like mid-tone shades. The cooler tones over here as well. And these shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous. So I would say this for sure definitely dupes the vibe of the new palette that's coming out. Very, very pretty. Now this next palette, most of you guys might think, oh no, that doesn't really dupe it. It's too pinky. It's too rosy. It's not really in the same vibe as this, you know, earthy warm tone palette that's coming out. But there's really just one row in this Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette that I wanna take a look at, and it is the last row. So if you kinda of just take a look at the last row in this palette and really just ignore the top two rows, you can really see how it kind of has the same vibe, same feel as the shades in the new 10 palette. It has that beautiful kind of sienna, um, burnt orange type shade. The red, that's kind of irrelevant unless you like that, but it has the brown, that taupey tan shade. It also has a black in there and it has, you know, that lighter shade for blending. So um, although it doesn't have the same vibe, when you look at these shimmers here at the top, those shimmers are actually really, really gorgeous. You know, this one here, very, very pretty. This one, very, very pretty, which I think would still have the same type of vibe. Gorgeous over here, you know, this beautiful gold. So although it doesn't have the exact same vibes throughout the whole palette, that last row definitely gives you the same feels as a lot of the shades that are in the new palette that's coming out. Now, this palette here definitely came to mind immediately when I saw this new palette coming out. This is the Tati Beauty Volume 1, the one and only palette that she, you know, ever came out with. It's a pretty large palette, so I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything in the screen along with, you know, the side-by-side, -side. but listen... You cannot look at this palette and tell me that this is not giving the vibes and duping the vibes of the new Dose of Colors palette. You have the basically the same type shades. She went in with the dark row over here. This one, you can mix this shade. If you put this down and top it with this one, it's going to give you that same look as what's in the Dose of Colors palette. It has the black, of course. You have your beautiful warm neutrals. You have your beautiful sienna shades right here to play with. All of these gorgeous, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like glitter, blah, blah, blah. But Tati's glitters are different. <laughs> They're just a different vibe, okay? They're not like regular, messy, hard to use glitters. They are very, very fine and they actually go on the lid like they are a shimmer shadow. I don't know how she did that, but it's they're absolutely gorgeous. So anywho, you have these other nice light blending toned shades. This row is pretty much irrelevant. It's interesting because when I saw the photo of the new tin palette that's coming out, I immediately thought that was a deep, dark, plummy type burgundy shade. But when you look at the swatches, it's really not. It looks different on the different skin tones and it looks different in the actual finger swatches. In the finger swatches, it really looks more like that Sienna type shade. So yeah, you know, just, I guess it's like you just, we just don't know until we get it in our hands and swatch it on ourselves. But these shades over here are gorgeous as well. It's just not ones that make me feel like it dupes the vibe. But all of this, honey, everything else in this palette definitely dupes the vibe. Now, this next palette that I have here is the Browns and Nudes palette from Plain and Makeup by Yolando. And the reason why I pulled this palette, even though it doesn't have, it's a really large palette, so it's going to be hard for me to get this in the whole shot. But although it doesn't have, once again, that dark shimmery gray, it does have a lot of shades in here. And so there are a lot of shades that kind of pull 
from the same vibe and feel as the new palette coming out. Of course, you would have to kind of go through and cherry pick those shades. I would say this one here is a major one for that warm, earthy tone. We also have this one here, which is a bit darker, just in case that actual shadow in there is darker. We have this one up here. We have a lot of these beautiful mid-tone shades up here. We even have like this cool tone shade that I feel like definitely fits the vibe in there. Um, now that palette does have a gray, uh, definitely has a distinct gray in it, which this palette does not. But if you have a gray and, uh, you know, a black anywhere else in your collection, you can definitely have the same feels. This one has a black in here. It doesn't have a lot of, it has some shimmers in here. I don't know if you can really tell, you know, just from looking. This one is a really pretty shimmer. This one, of course, is a gorgeous shimmer. Um, this one is even a shimmer as well. But yeah, it's definitely not 100% duping the vibe, but you can kind of cherry pick your way through this palette <laughs> and create some similar looks. Now, these next few palettes are ones that I pulled that, you know, don't dupe the vibes of that palette completely, but there are certain shades in here that are similar to where you can kind of use them as companion palettes, combine them with other palettes you might have in your collection to kind of create the same type of vibe, you know, and just kind of piecemeal a look together. So this first one here is from ColourPop. It's one of my smaller five pan palettes. This one is Ballad. And as you can see, the reason why I pulled this palette is because it has those dark shimmers, that dark black shimmer, that dark gray, taupey type, you know, shimmer. And it has these other cool tone shadows in here. So with this palette, you can kind of pull certain shades from here. I would say mainly, you know, well, all of them really. <laughs> Just looking at the palette now that I think about it. Because this light shimmer shade, you know, she has some pretty light shimmer shades. This light taupey shade, this kind of like gray toned, light taupey toned shimmer, the dark gray shimmer, and then this black shimmer would all kind of fit, fit the vibes of that palette, if you will. So very, very pretty. You can use this as a companion. Next, I pulled one of my Lorac Pro palettes. This is the Noir palette. And I got this palette, I don't know, a couple years ago, I guess, from Ulta. But as you can see, once again, it has some of the similar tones in this palette. It has the black, has beautiful, you know, burgundy shades, lighter tans and browns, and gorgeous shimmers as well. So you can definitely use this as a companion palette with some, you know, more burnt sienna type shades and get the same type of feel. Now I pulled this palette from ColourPop. This is my Sweet Talk palette. And the reason why I pulled this palette is because of those shades that kind of pull like that beautiful, warm, earthy brown tone in there. But I'm really focused more on the matte shades because this one has like these glittery type shimmers in here, except this one is really, really pretty. That's a pretty shimmer. But it does have a couple of glittery shimmers in here, which, you know, some people might not like. But if you already own this palette, you definitely have some of those kind of like warm, earthy, peachy tone mattes in there. Some beautiful kind of like sienna shades. This one specifically down here, I think would really be a good dupe the vibe for that beautiful warm, earthy shade in there. You have like a darker brown. So yeah, you can kind of combine this palette with one of your more deep, dark, smoky gray tone palettes and get the same vibe. This palette here is my Lust for Dusk palette from ColourPop. Beautiful, beautiful packaging as you can see. And when you open it up, I think you can kind of, you know, see where I'm going with this color story having the same type of vibes. I'm getting those same gray toned, cool tone feels while I'm also getting those warm sienna brown feels out of this palette as well mainly focusing on the mattes because they're absolutely gorgeous but there's some beautiful shimmers in here as well so this palette 100% definitely if you have it and you're like I said you're doing that no palette buy right now 
play around with this palette, you know, create some looks, see how you like it. Cause I bet you'll get the same type of vibe using this one. Okay, so this next palette I have here is the Disney Mulan palette from ColourPop. Very, very pretty. Another palette you might not think of when you're thinking about duping this new palette that's coming out. But as you can see here, there are some really pretty, kind of like cool tone, taupey tones over here that you can kind of play with. Also has like, you know, this warm sienna type brown some other beautiful neutral shades in here. And although this palette does have a couple of glitter shades, you know, and I know a lot of people don't like glitter. If you already have this palette in your collection, you can kind of play around with it and see if, you know, some of the shades kind of give you the same feels. So this next palette here is so large. It is my Beauty Bay 42 Fiery palette. <laughs> and it's so large, as you can see, I really cannot get this whole palette in the screen along with the side by side. So I'm just going to have to kind of show you the palette and, you know, just kind of cherry pick the shades that kind of give me the vibes of the new palette, really. This shade here, really, really pretty, giving me that kind of burnt sienna brown. This one here in just a lighter version of it, this is really pretty as well. And not knowing exactly, oh, look at this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, bricky shade. Not knowing exactly the shade that is in that palette, because not having it in my hand, of course, I'm just going off pictures, but... I really feel like one of these shades <laughs> would give me the same vibe. This palette has a black in it. It also has some really pretty shimmers. This is a gorgeous shimmer. It has some lighter shades up here. This is a shimmer. This is a shimmer. And so I feel like with mixing these cool tones down here at the bottom, along with, you know, the really pretty kind of bricky earthy tones in here, that you can probably find the shades that you need to create similar looks with this palette. Now, the one thing I think is kind of missing from this palette, aside from this one shade here, which is kind of a taupey shade, is that that palette, since it does have that gray pool going for it, that that's what's missing from here. It doesn't really have the gray tones in this palette. Of course not, it's a fiery palette. It definitely does have shades that are similar to or compatible with the ones in that new palette. So I would say if you have one of the other palettes that have more of the gray tone shades in it, along with this palette, then you're covered. You're good, definitely can do looks from those two palettes. So just wanted to show this one because I know a lot of people have this palette as well. Okay, you guys, so those are all of my palettes, you know, kind of duping the vibes of this new She's a 10 palette. I think it's so cute. I think the whole vibe of it, I think the name of it, She's a 10, is super cute. And I'm really excited to actually see people purchase it and do looks with it so I can see how close I came to how it actually looks. Because sometimes the swatches can be a little off so anyways let me know down in the comment section you know let us know which palettes you have that maybe i didn't have that definitely dupe the vibes just in case other people have those palettes as well also did you guess which eyeshadow palette i used for this eye look hmm hmm i bet you didn't <laughs> No, you probably did. I used this um, Vanity Makeup Palette, absolutely one of my favorite palettes, the Signature Palette, and, you know, might have kind of gave it away because it has a lot of the feels and the vibes of that palette, okay? But this is definitely one of my favorite palettes. This is the one that I used to create this eye look today. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know down in the comment section. Please be sure to look out for my future videos. Don't forget to hit like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you like your girl and you haven't subscribed yet, okay? Because that definitely helps push me back out there into the algorithm. But yeah, so I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Toodles!